Hi all, welcome to Math EC. In today's video, we are going to discuss about translating verbal phrases to algebraic expressions. Consider these examples. The sum of 6 and a number. Sum. So we are going to add something. The sum of what? 6 and a number. Let us assume n is the number. So 6 plus n is the solution for this. Now 8 less than a number. You have to remember when you see less than whatever comes after this statement should come first. For example, consider number n you are referring to as the variable n. So 8 less than a number n means first you have to write the number n less than means minus minus what the number before this less than which is 8. So n minus 8. Don't write 8 minus n because when you see this less than, whatever coming after the statement less than should come first. So, the number n that should come first. So, n minus 8 is the solution for this. Now, consider the product of 3 and square of a number. So, the product means we are going to multiply something. What product? The product of 3. So, let us write 3. So, 3 times and square of a number. Again, consider this number as variable n. Square of a number means n square. So, 3 times n square which means 3n square is the solution for this problem. Now, 10 more than a number. 10. So, we have 10. We are going to write 10. More means Add more than means it increases. So, add than a number. Let us consider this number as n. So, 10 plus n is the solution for this. Now, consider the problems. The quotient of 9 and the difference of a number and 3. Quotient means it's a division. So, one line we are going to divide of 9. So, 9 comes first. The quotient of 9 and the difference of. Difference means what? Subtraction and the difference of a number. Say this number you are referring to as a variable n. So, difference of a number and 3. So, it will be 9 divided by n minus 3. You can write this as 9 divided by this n minus 3 should be done first. So, we have to put it in parenthesis. Next is the sum of twice a number and 8. The sum of. So, what we are going to do? We are going to add something. The sum of twice a number. Consider n as the number. So, twice a number which means 2 times n which is 2n. Twice a number means 2n and 8. So, simply put 2n plus 8. Now, next is 6 increased by. So, 6 increased which means 6. Increased means add 6 plus by a number cubed. Number cubed means cube of a number which means consider n as the number n cubed that is cubed means 6 plus n cubed. The product of which means multiply. We are going to multiply something. The product of the sum of a number and 5. So, this is the first statement. The product of I am putting the multiplication of the what? The sum of a number and 5. So, sum of a number, consider n as the number, the variable n as the number. So, the sum of number and 5 means n plus 5. So, that will come in one side of the product, okay. And again, what is the next statement? The difference of a number and 7. So, you are going to subtract something. Here it is sum, so you are saying add. Now, difference means subtract. What difference? Of a number. Again, consider the number n as a variable. So, number and 7. So, it will look like n plus 5 times. This n plus 5 should be in parenthesis. Because we are taking the product of sum of a number and 5 
and difference of a number and 7. So, first you need to add n plus 5, then you have to subtract n minus 7, then only you should multiply it. Since the parenthesis takes priority in the order of operations, you should put n plus 5 and n minus 7 inside the parenthesis. This also can be written as n plus 5. You need not write this multiplication simple. Just simply you can write like this n plus 5 times means you can simply put the parenthesis near n minus 7. The quotient of Quotient means a division divided by the quotient of what quotient? 9 increased by a number. So, consider n as the number. So, 9 increased means add by a number. 9 increased by a number means 9 plus n. n as a number. So, first you have to consider this statement. And next statement, the product of 4 and the number. Consider n as a number. Then the product of what we are going to do the multiplication. Product of 4 and the number. So, 4 times n. This can be written as 9 plus n by 4 n. 9 plus n by 4 and 4 times n can be written as 4 n. The difference of 4 times a number and the quotient of number and 5. So, what we are going to do? The difference which means we are going to subtract something. The difference. What difference? Of 4 times a number. So, the difference is subtraction of what? 4 times a number. Consider n as the number. 4 times a number means 4n. So, that is first. That comes uh, as the first variable. 4n minus and the quotient of, quotient means what? Division and the quotient of a number, say n as a number, the quotient of a number and 5. Quotient of a number means it is going to be a division. So, of a number means n, so n by 5. So, the solution for this is going to be equal to 4n minus n by 5. Half a number, consider n as a number. Half a number means it's going to be n by 2. So, that statement is over. Half a number decreased means we are going to subtract by 20, which means minus 20. So, n by 2 minus 20. Now, the next is the ratio of a number and 4. Ratio means division. Consider n as a number. So, the ratio of number means n by 4. So, n divided by 4 is the ratio of a number and 4. Ratio means division. 3 times the difference of a number and 1. 3 times means 3 multiplied by. Okay. What 3 times? The difference of a number and 1. This statement should be in a parenthesis. The difference of a number which means start a parenthesis. The difference of a number means what? You are going to subtract something. What are you going to subtract? Of a number. Number is n and 1. So, n minus 1. So, that is going to be 3 times n minus 1. Instead of writing this multiplication symbol, you can simply put the parenthesis after the 3. So, 3 times n minus 1. Now, next, quadruple a number. Quadruple means 4 times. Quadruple itself means what? 4 times. Twice means 2, thrice 3. So, quadruple 4. 4 times a number. Quadruple a number means just 4 n. 4 n is going to be the answer for this. 14 greater than a number. So, I am simply putting 13. Greater than means you are going to put the addition symbol. Here it means it is an addition symbol. 13 greater than a number means 13 plus n. Greater than for this you have to put the addition sign. 7 eighths of a number. 7 eighths means 7 by 8. 7 eighths means 7 by 8. 7 eighths of a number. Consider this number as a variable n. So, 7 by 8 
n. 7 fewer than a number which means 7 times less than a number. As I told you, fewer than or less than, if you see anything like that, the number or the variable that is coming after the fewer than should come first. For example, here 7 fewer than a number. So, consider this number as a variable n. So, fewer than means this n should come first. n fewer than means subtract then put this 7. So, n minus 7. Don't write it as 7 minus n. If it is less than, fewer than, then the number or the variable that is coming after the fewer than, that should come first. So, it is n minus, then put the first number or variable, that is 7. A number is decreased by 4 and then tripled. A number, say n, n is the number. A number is decreased by 4 which means n is a number, it is decreased means subtract, decreased by how much? By 4. So, n um, number n is decreased by 4, n minus 4 and then tripled. Tripled means you have to multiply it 3 times. So, 3 times n minus 4. So, in such an operation, first you have to perform the operation inside this parenthesis that is n minus 4, then multiply it times 3. Hope you have understood about translating verbal phrases to algebraic expression in this video. If you find this video helpful, please subscribe to MathEasy channel and push the like button. Thanks for watching.